Tarrant County officer shot twice when investigators say a suspect brought a handgun into an East Fort Worth credit union. And this was a situation yesterday where, I mean, one millimeter difference, and he doesn't come home ever again. County leaders say after surviving emergency surgery, Brown is awake and alert today. And uh, I think more than anything, he wants to get back in the uniform. Um, you know, Deputy Brown is a hero, and, and you know, God put him there in that, in that bank for a reason, because who knows what would have happened. Fort Worth police arrested 35-year-old Leland Williams, charging him with attempted capital murder of a peace officer. A Fort Worth magistrate set Williams' bond at $100,000, leading to an outcry among some county officials. We were absolutely disgusted. Uh, it's a slap in the face to every single police officer that's out there putting their lives on the line. It's a slap in the face to Deputy Brown. Among those calling for the bond to be changed, Tarrant County Judge Tim O'Hare. Just the very idea that bond would be set for someone who is accused of shooting a police officer multiple times at $100,000, everyone ought to be appalled. Following the outcry, the Tarrant DA petitioned for the bond to be raised to $500,000. A district judge later raised Williams' bail to one million. Despite the increase, O'Hare says he believes this situation shows a need to change state law. So one of the things that I think should change is there should be more um, crimes that are acceptable to have no bond. In Texas, the only crime that allows a judge to set no bond, regardless of other factors, is capital murder. The county judge says people accused of attempting to kill a peace officer need to be held until trial. When we let violent criminals out on the streets, it's unacceptable, it's absurd, it has to stop. Mm -hmm.